Yes! So you finally got the awesome overlays for your streaming. But when you try to render it in WebM format with an alpha background, you get this pixelated abomination. Yo, what's going on guys? Devon here and welcome back to the fields. Streaming seems like an easy enough gig, right? You just pick up a controller, you start playing a game, and that's it, right? Mm, sure, you can do that, but if you want to stand out amongst the thousands of other streamers out there, then you need to be able to distinguish yourself from everybody. And one way of doing that is incorporating overlays, special graphical designs into your streaming. Anyway, let's get right into the meat of the matter. Okay, so when I received my overlay package, the instruction that I was given is that I should go ahead and export the file, export it in media encoder, so we're going to go ahead and click that right now. Next, we're going to go ahead and change the codec from H.264 to WebM. Go ahead and click that. We're going to head on into custom and we're going to change some setting here. So for me, I don't have an audio on this footage. We're going to scroll down underneath the video panel. And we're going to include the alpha channel. So we're going to go ahead and check that. And that's pretty much it. We're going to click OK and we are going to render this footage okay guys so the rendering ended that's it we're gonna go ahead and find the footage which is right here on my desktop so we're gonna go ahead and play this in vlc player and there we go pixelated unrefined ugly that is not what we're looking for and we would never put this on our stream we would be a laughing stock so like I said before, this is the instructions that I received when I got this package and it's not working. I went on the internet and I searched until I turned gray and they were suggesting the same thing and I was doing it down to the T, following all the instructions down to the T and I was still ending up with this. Finally, I found a solution. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back into After Effects. We're gonna go to File, export but this time we're gonna ignore media encoder and we're gonna click on add to render queue so we'll be rendering this locally in after effects so we're gonna go ahead and click on lossless we won't be changing anything except for channels we're gonna go ahead and click in this tab and we're gonna check rgb plus alpha I personally don't have any audio on this footage. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so that we can speed up the rendering process. Click OK. Then we're going to change the destination to desktop. Click save and then we're going to start the render process. Okay guys, so the rendering process just ended. Let's go ahead and bounce to our desktop. And then we're going to play this in media player. And there we go. It's working perfectly fine. It's not pixelated or anything. It looks just the way that it looks in After Effects. Let's check out the specs, however. So the first one that we rendered that's pixelated that we did in Media Encoder, that size is 501 kilobytes. The one that we just rendered in After Effects is 3.50 gigabytes. That's horrendous. And that is the reason why people opt to render their file in WebM format because you get a very condensed format and it keeps all the graphics. It keeps all that quality and you get a small file so that you can use in your streams. We want to avoid using large files because that will have negative effects on your stream and it will downgrade your quality because then your computer has more work to do having to read such large files. So here's what we're gonna do next to solve that problem. We don't want this big file, so we're gonna go ahead and open a software called Shutter Encoder. So what I'll do is link the download in the description so you can go ahead and grab that. We're gonna drag and drop this file that we got from After Effects into the software. We're gonna choose Function, and we're gonna scroll down to VP9. 
as you can see the exit rendering codec is going to be webm what we'll do next is click on advanced features and we're going to enable alpha channel this is imperative guys because this is the setting this is the option that will allow your footage to have a transparent background what we're going to also do is check two pass and maximum quality because you don't want to lose any of the resolution that you're getting from your original source file so that's pretty much it you can go ahead and change the destination if you want to i'm going to keep mine as the same so that i can get it on the desktop so we're going to go ahead and click on start function okay guys once the process ends the destination folder should pop up right in your face which is pretty convenient so we're gonna go ahead and close that because we are already on the desktop where the footage is so we're gonna go ahead and open this in vlc player and as you can see the quality is wonderful it's not pixelated it's not ugly it works it's fine and this my friends is my solution to this problem if you guys have a better solution then definitely shoot me a message in the comments if you have any questions then definitely shoot me a message in the comments as well if this video helped you in any way consider leaving a like and consider subscribing for future tutorials and gameplay this is devon you have been watching the fields and i will catch you on the next one